What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to learn how to take our Matplotlib design skills to the next level by creating our own customized style sheets. So let us get right into it. All right, so this is a little bit more intermediate stuff. So it's not for complete beginners when it comes to Matplotlib. So if you've never used Matplotlib before, I would recommend you to just watch some beginner tutorials first and then come back to this video later on. Uh, now, for those of you who have used Matplotlib in the past, you probably know that there's something called style. So whenever you have a Matplotlib script, you can choose a style and you can uh, customize the feeling and the design of your plot. So let's go ahead and look at an example. Uh, we can go ahead and start by importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then also numpy as np like that. And now I can create some sample data. Let's say x data equals np.a range. And we can say from 0 to 50 with a step size of 0 0.01. And then we can say y data equals np dot sign of x data so that we just have something to plot here. And y data 2 equals np dot cosine of x data like that. So we're going to just plot two curves here. And for this, we can say plt dot plot x data and y data and x data and y data two, and then plt dot show. So if we just run this like that, we're going to have the default matplotlib theme without any customizations without any any themes that we've chosen, that's it. Um, and what we can do is we can just go ahead and say plt dot style dot use. And then we can pass a bunch of different styles. So for example, one of them is ggplot which is going to change the style a little bit. So if we run this here, we're going to see, there you go, it's a gray background and some other things have slightly changed. We can also go with 538, for example, which makes everything a little bit bolder. So if I run this, you're going to see everything's a little bit thicker. And we can also try a dark theme, which is dark underscore background. And by doing that, we can customize the feeling of our plots. Now you can go to the matplotlib style sheet reference, just type into Google matplotlib uh, style reference or style sheet reference, and you're going to see that there are a bunch of different styles. Uh, a lot of them are seaborn dash something or seaborn underscore uh, underscore something. So most of them look quite similar. We have only one dark theme, which is dark background. And I personally don't like the color scheme itself. So I like that it's dark, but I don't like the colors that they have chosen for the individual default lines. Um, and of course, you can change that you can just go to the plot function here and say, okay, color equals red, and you can go and say, uh, color equals yellow. By the way, this is just a plugin, don't be confused, this plugin uh, highlights the, the color values all the time. Um, so you can do that if you want to manually, but that's not very practical. And it's tedious over time, if you have a lot of different projects, and you have a lot of different um, plots that you want to plot in a project, you don't want to always specify the colors necessarily. So what can you do if you want to have your customized theme across many different projects, what you can do is you can create your own style sheet. So you can do the same thing that dark background and 538 do, you can create your own file with all the settings that you want. And you can then import it using the plt style dot use function. And how do you do that? You just create a new file here. So new file, and we're going to call it my awesome theme dot MPL style, it has to end with MPL style. And then in here, you can uh, set all these so called RC params. So all the parameters that we uh, care about, for example, one basic thing is we can just say axes dot face color, face color, and then colon, and we can say black, for example, and then we can say figure dot face color, is also black, for example. And if I now go ahead into my Python script, and I don't use dark background, but I use my awesome theme dot MPL style, if I do that and run this, you're going to see that my settings are now the theme. The problem is my settings use the default theme and combine it with the additional settings. So I made everything black, but I didn't make the text white and so on. So what I would have to do here is I would have to say text dot color, is white. And uh, I would have to do something like x tick 
color is white as well and lines dot color is white and obviously white tick dot color is white as well what else do we have um yeah basically everything you want to have uh, in a different color you specified here. So let's see if that's enough to have a somewhat decent looking theme as you can see almost we don't have the axes axes edge color is probably what we're looking for axes edge color. We want this to be white. There you go. So this is how you can create your own theme. There are a lot of different things that you can customize here. Uh, so in this video, I just want to show you how this basically works. We're not going to go into all the different parameters that we can set. But my recommendation to you is get a theme that you like, basically. So where you like most of it, for example, the dark theme. The only thing that I don't like about the dark theme is the color scheme. So the color rotation, or as it's called in the settings, the prop cycle. So what I can do is I can go into, into the folder with all the Matplotlib themes pick the one that I like the most, copy all the settings and then change what I don't like about it. So let's go to the directory in my case, oh, this is the video directory. In my case, this is percent app data percent. And in here we have or I have at least the Python directory, then Python 3.9 or Python 3.9, then the site packages. And here we have all the different libraries, we want to scroll down to matplotlib, this one. Uh, and inside of matplotlib, we can go to what was it MPL data and then to style lib. And in here we have a lot of different MPL style uh, files, as you can see. And what I want to do is I want to go to the one that I like the most, for example, dark background, this one is the most similar to what I want to have as a theme. So what I do is I click on edit with notepad, you can edit it with uh, with whatever editor you want. And in here, we can now go ahead and uh, either copy that or change it. But I would like to copy this here. So I copy everything here. I go into my own MPL style, I remove everything here and replace it with the dark theme. But as you can see here, I have axes dot prop cycle, this is the part that I don't like. And uh, what I do here is I just have to change these colors uh, to the colors that I want. Now my plugin doesn't work in MPL style files. So I'm just going to copy that for a second here. And added this line in Python. So that I see the color previews. By the way, if you're interested in the plugin, you can just go to settings and plugins in PyCharm and you can download the color highlighter. This is the plugin. Um, and here you can see this is the dark theme, the dark background theme color rotation. So I want to change this rotation to something else. Let's say for example, the first color that I want to have is uh, some turquoise. So 00 EEFF, for example. Um, then as a second color, maybe I want to have something else, I actually have prepared something here. Uh, let me just see where this line is. I think these colors look quite fine. Let me just remove these here. And then there you go. So let's choose these colors here. And I can now take that and put it into the file and replace it. And now if I load my own uh, my own style sheet, we will be able to see that I have basically the dark theme. Uh, but with my customizations. Now, first of all, I have a problem here, bad value and file, what is the bad value? Actually, I think I made a mistake here. Let me just copy the full line again. But it actually seems to be fine. Why doesn't it work? Let's see. I think I have something invalid here. However, let's just remove these colors here real quick and see if it works. If I run this now, there you go, you can see it takes my uh, colors, it starts with a blue and then with an orange as a second color, which is not right. Okay, it doesn't, uh, doesn't work well. So let me just copy that one more time and see if I have a mistake here. Uh, was it cycle instead of cycler? Or what is the problem here? All right, I found it. It's a pretty stupid one. I have one e too much here. So this is actually uh, enough to do it like that. So let's replace this line again. And now it should work. There you go, you can see I got the colors that I wanted. 
Uh, and now I have basically the dark theme as a color scheme, but optimized for my purposes, because I have the colors that I want. Now, this is a pretty simple theme. As you can see here, there are other themes that are a little bit more complicated. So if we don't look at dark background, but we look at classic, you can see that classic has a lot of different uh, settings in here, math text and X tick, uh, all sorts of things are adjusted here. So you can play around with a lot of different parameters. And instead of watching a video where I explain all of them, I would recommend to just look into the already uh, implemented MPL style files here, just look through them and look what they do. And then you can copy individual lines, or you can copy the whole themes and change individual lines in the settings here to make the perfect theme for yourself. But it's very useful because if you're working on a lot of different data science projects, you don't want to always set the settings manually, you don't want to start the script and say, okay, change this parameter to that uh, change this setting to that, you want to just say use this style, and then you can use this style across all the different projects. And this is just a, lo a little thing that if you're intermediate, uh, if you're on an intermediate level in matplotlib, you want to use that, because it's just more convenient to use the theme instead of setting it all over again, every time you start a new project. All right, so that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.